everybody, Lawman Mike at www.lawmanguitars.com. Boy, have I got a couple really cool Gibson guitars for you today. We're going to be demoing two Gibson Flying Vs, and I'll tell you what, these guitars are awesome. The one I have today is a 1974 Gibson Flying V, all original. I mean, this is just a fabulous guitar. The mahogany on it has just really uh, finished crazing galore on it, and of course the pick guard, the original pick guard looks great. It's got the original patent. Um, uh, pickups in it, the, the uh, knobs, the, the tuner, it's got everything on it that you want to see on these great old guitars and I'll tell you what, it plays great. Now when I got this guitar, let me tell you, it didn't play great. It, uh, it really needed some help. Uh, the frets had just been played to death. They were like pancaked out. They were just all flat and, and uh, worn out. So the first thing we did is, is we had them professionally redone. Uh, Jeff the Tech did a great job on uh, completely refretting this, uh, this guitar. And I'll tell you what, the next set is beautiful. It didn't need any adjustments. Um, and uh, he planed the uh, fretboard just slightly. Uh, to take out just a little bit of a hump in it, uh, but with the refret and the nice big jumbo frets on it, I'll tell you what, this guitar just plays. <laughs> It is a blast to play. Now, uh, let's talk a little bit about these guitars. Uh, these have been made for many, many years, uh, and this one we identified as a 1974. Now, uh, there's a lot of controversy about dates. Uh, there's a serial number on this, and you can't really date it from the serial number. However, we were very, very fortunate. We figured it was a 74, 75 uh, from a couple things. Uh, the nut uh, gave it away, and the uh, 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 tailpiece studs go directly into the wood as opposed to going into a shiv. So uh, those were a couple clues that we had, but fortunately uh, one of the pots in there we were able to identify as a 1974 pot. So I'm going to call it a 1974. It could be a 1975 with a 1974 pot, but everyone is going to look at the pot and say, okay, it's a 1974. So anyway, let's talk about these pickups. The pickups are just really nice and bright. I've been playing on the middle position, uh, which uh, makes both of them active. Let's go into the uh, the front pickup. I'll tell you what, you can play just about anything on these guitars. They just sound great. Uh, we just have been playing it on the uh, back, or on the uh, t uh, both pickups. <laughs> guitar is a great, great guitar to play. It sounds fantastic. That back pickup, sometimes they'll trail off on you a little bit. The back pickups aren't quite as strong as the front. I gotta say, this guitar just sounds magnificent. And it never comes out on the, uh, on the uh, uh, tape as well as it sounds in person. You get this guitar on your amp and you're gonna absolutely love it. So anyway, this guitar, uh, by the way, has one tone knob and, and two volumes, which is kind of unique for uh, these guitars. Uh, but I gotta say, this original guitar is just absolutely fantastic. And I'm really, really happy uh, if you've ever tried to find a case for one of these guitars, forget about it. Um, so I'm real happy to be reporting that we have the original case. Now, uh, the Gibson V case, if you didn't have the case, you would never find one. I mean, they just aren't ever around. It's Mark Gibson, of course. All the latches are here. The original handle is here. Uh, the purple interior, which you want to see on a 70s 
uh, Gibson uh, guitar case is correct. Uh, it even has the accessory box, which is a little bit loose in there, so you want to be a little careful with it. It has the accessory box lid restraint strap. Uh, however, it's loose, so you're going to want to have that repaired. Uh, but it's really for the shape and, uh, and age of the guitar, the case is in remarkable shape. So uh, not only do you get that uh, fantastic uh, 1974 Gibson Flying V mahogany uh, guitar, but you get the case that goes with it. And what a great outfit for someone to pick up. If you're looking for a Flying V and you've been looking at reissues and all that, it's like, okay, that's fine. But I'll tell you what, this guitar will never lose any value. Buy this guitar, enjoy it. It's better than putting your money in the bank because it's only going to increase in value. So I appreciate you watching uh, my videos today. Stay tuned for another uh, Flying V video coming up next. And uh, thanks a lot for watching today.